we're going to learn how to sew on a button. Buttons come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Some buttons have four holes. Some buttons have two holes. We're going to learn how to do a four hole button today. Decide which is the front and which is the back of your button. Sometimes the flat part is the back, but it just depends. So decide where you're going to place your button. And I have already threaded my string. We're using embroidery thread, but any type of thread will work depending upon what you're doing. I have threaded my needle, left a tail, and then I have a knot on the other end. So I'm going to pinch my fabric and my button together, and I'm going to come up the back of my button. Now, you can poke your needle through from the back until you see it, um, but it's a little bit difficult because you can't really see. Sometimes you just get lucky. So the other way that you can start is by deciding where you want it. I want it in the middle, and then I'm going to poke through, pull, 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 pull my thread until it stops on that knot. Okay. Then I can go ahead and place the button onto my needle. Any hole is fine. So now I want to pinch this again, place my button where I want it, and pinch these two together. I actually just pulled too hard and pulled my knot out. So you could tie a double knot maybe, or just kind of be careful of that. So pull through, it stopped. And when you're sewing a four hole button, you want to sew in a crisscross pattern, so like an X. So I'm going to start by going across in an X pattern, coming out the back, pull, 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 until it stops. Now, I'm going to just kind of stab, and I just keep, I keep poking the back of the button, and that's just going to happen. So sometimes you can give it a little bit of a jiggle um, to get it where you need it. So pull, 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 pull. Um, and then now I'm going to go across. So here you can see I'm starting this crisscross pattern. So it's not a bad idea when you're sewing a button to go through the stitches a couple of times. Um, if your thread is really thin, three or four times is great. Since we're using thicker embroidery thread, we'll just go through two times. So I'm going to go back to my original hole. There's my needle. And I'm going to go criss. And I'm going to do cross. So again, oh look, my needle came right through. You kind of get better at it as you keep practicing. Okay, so now I have gone through both holes two times. So now I'm going to turn it on the back. At this point in time, you can take off your needle. And when I tied my original knot, I left a little bit of a longer tail. What that will let me do is to take both ends of your thread and tie it together. So one knot, and I'm going to tie a second knot. So just a simple loop. Take your end through and pull. Okay, now that button is secure. I can take my scissors and I can trim off my thread. And here you can see that I have sewn on a two-hole button, and you just go through the loops a couple of times, and the back is the same way. I took the two tails, tied a knot, and cut off the extra. So the back of the fabric, it doesn't matter what it looks like, as long as you've secured the buttons.